Do you want to take the lead and say hello? Welcome to a... Hello. Welcome to the JHP show. This is Omar. I'm Aladdin. We've probably met before if you're here again. Back for more, I suppose. Today, we're going to tell you our five ways to get out of a creative rut. Here we go. Tip number one. If you're working really hard on something and you're in a rut, you don't know what to do next, or whatever you're doing doesn't sound good, perhaps a change of environment will do you good. Go outside for a walk. Maybe do something else. Take a shower, Maybe have some shower thoughts, make some food, eat that food, and then come back and do it again. Meet some friends, have some coffee. Basically, take a break from whatever you were doing. Everybody could use a little bit of change. Yes, I concur. Tip number two, do something you don't usually do. That's right. Maybe you find yourself in a dark alleyway late at night. You get that long knife under your trench coat. You see an unsuspecting passerby. <laughs> <laughs> it helps <Yes>. me. <laughs> Please continue. Try to sell them this knife. If they buy it, that's inspiration. Write a song about it. Adel's third tip is to steal constructively. Steal constructively. That's the best thing you can do. Just go somewhere that's something similar, listen to some artists, look at some artists, and uh, take elements of what they have and reappropriate them. Make them your own. And uh, that way you don't have to be creative. You just have to be a good thief. How many tips has that been? Three. Three. My fourth tip is to allow inspiration to run through you. Just let go. Because we tend to always live up here way too much and we do a lot of thinking and overthinking so i think the best thing to do sometimes is just to let go and just to write down or paint or whatever you're trying to do creatively just do it on autopilot just don't think if you're if you're trying to write a song just write everything that comes to mind of course about a specific topic there has to be some structure to what you're doing but allow yourself to feel the emotions that you're trying to portray because creativity at the end of the day is about emotion it's not it's not a mathematical thing the mathematics come i think at a later stage once you need to refine whatever you jotted down or painted while you were on autopilot but allow yourself to feel the inspiration and to let go and do your work and then once you're done Take a break and come back to it and try to see some structure to the work that you did. Right. Tip number five is experiment. Try something uh, weird. Try painting with a different paint, playing with a different instrument, play your instrument upside down. Just stuff that you would do when you're maybe bored. Out of boredom blossoms great creativity. But isn't that kind of in the vein of what I was trying to do? Trying well, to say? Well, no. The thing is, you're trying to change what you're doing, as opposed to uh, doing whatever you're doing and trying to be relaxed about it. Here, you're actively deciding that... You're not going to think. No, no. You are going to think, but you're going to try to think in a different context. Hmm. So, like, if you're a guitarist, like I am, you will play your guitar upside down or backwards or only with two fingers or only whatever. Just put some kind of weird constraint on to make things uh, more interesting. Constraints. Constraints are good. I think it's a collection of all of these things that might yield some, some kind of results. If one doesn't work, try the next one. Whatever, and in the end, you know, you've changed it up enough to be able to achieve whatever you wanted to achieve. And also don't be too hard on yourself. If you're in a creative rut and, and you have uh, writer's block or something, it's okay. Just know that everybody else goes through this and that you will eventually get out of it. Nobody stays in a rut forever. Inspiration will strike. The ideas will come to you. Just be patient, work hard and take a break. Just just have, have a balance of everything really. And you should be able to get back into your work and create something amazing. What does this apply to? Musicians, painters, artists, writers, authors, chefs, anything that has designers. Mm -hmm. So yeah.